Hey, this is Frank. We're looking at a 2GRFE 3.5 liter V6 engine by Toyota. In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the water pump. Okay, this water pump on this engine I can feel is gravelly. And uh, I'm not going to take a chance on it because it's very difficult to replace once the engine is in the car. Now, I've done a video previously showing how to replace the water pump in the car. Uh, on a Toyota RAV4, but it's very difficult to see because it's down between the engine and the fender and uh, you can't really see anything. So I hope that in this video you can actually see all the elements that have to be um, you know, addressed when we're doing the water pump replacement. The water pump that I'm going to use for replacement is this ASIN brand or ISIN brand. This is the original equipment brand for Toyota, so this is the actual water pump that is used in a Toyota engine. And actually, if you read here, if you can see this, it says ISIN right here on the original water pump. It says ISIN, and by the pulley, it says Toyota. So this this ISIN pump is the correct water pump to use, and. You can actually see, maybe, on this pump that the word to Toyota has been blanked off the body of the water pump. It sa still says ISIN. Um, so, that's interesting, okay? That's pretty interesting that they went to the trouble of grinding this off. Okay, the first step in replacing the water pump is going to be to remove the pulley, so we're going to do that. It has four 12 millimeter bolts. So these bolts are pretty easy to get off with a little impact. And you just hold uh, the pulley tightly. And they pop right off. So now we have a little issue that to get water pump off, we actually need to remove this thermostat housing. And to get the thermostat housing off, we need to remove the motor mount assembly. So let's start with the motor mount. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, six bolts. And these are all different lengths. We want to try to keep them in the right order so I'm going to use a piece of cardboard and I'm going to put these bolts through the cardboard in the position that they come out from so here I've made some holes on the cardboard to approximate the position of the bolts and now they can come off for these bolts I'm going to use a little bit more substantial impact So there I have the bolts in the correct order and I'll know which one to put back where. So our next step is going to be to take off this uh, water neck which is cracked by the way. We're going to be replacing it with the water neck from the original engine. You can see the crack here. But we're just going to remove this. It has two bolts, two 10 millimeter bolts, one here and one up here. We'll zip them right off. So this inside fastener is a little M6 bolt. And the outside fastener is a, is a stud with a nut on it.
And these are pure hell to get to in the car. So here's our thermostat housing. Here's our thermostat. Actually looks to be in pretty good shape. So I may replace this thermostat because you just never know. But now what remains to be done is to unfasten this housing. Okay, it has two bolts and a nut on a stud. Oh, well, it's a long bolt. Let's see, are these two bolts the same length? Yes, they are. So, as is often the case, this knot came off with this stud, and uh, we'll take care of separating them later. So there is our thermostat housing. And this is the O-ring for the thermostat housing. New O-ring comes with the kit. So we'll be replacing this. And actually we'll be replacing the entire water pump. Now to keep all of these bolts in the proper order, I'm going to use another piece of cardboard. So that once I take them out, I know where they go back. Okay, so I've preset my holes. Now I can start removing these bolts. And now we are done. Here comes our gasket. So we've completed the removal of this uh, of this water pump. Now we're going to clean up this surface. I'm going to use a a brush with a, a brass brush, bristle brush, and then. Uh, We'll go ahead and uh, install the new pump. While we're looking at this, you can see how this pump is configured. This is the inlet to the pump. The impeller of the pump is turning right here, and it forces fluid flow into the two separate heads through these two outlets into the heads. This is a brass brush. It's softer than aluminum, so it should not harm the aluminum. But it should get some of this gunk off the mating surface. Okay, that about does it. So I'm just temporarily using these two bolts from the ends to hang the pump and the gaskets together. Always make sure you are not cross-threading anything. The bolts should turn smoothly by hand. Okay, so now we have the pump in place with the gasket and uh, we can go ahead with threading in all of the remaining bolts.
the factory manual states that for these two bolts labeled with an A, which are these two right here, you must use an adhesive 1344. And what I'm going to use is just blue Loctite for these two bolts, okay? Here's my blue Loctite equivalent. So I'm going to take out these two bolts. And they have the factory green sealant on them. I'm going to brush the bolt to clean off this green factory sealant. I'm going to clean it off. Then I'm going to apply the blue Loctite without wasting, without wasting too much of it. Same thing with this one. I'm going to clean off the factory sealant, the Toyota green sealant. And then I'm going to apply some blue Loctite. So next, uh, I'm just going to get everything snug. Okay, I think we got them all. Now we're ready for the torque wrench. So that did it. We have all of the M6 bolts torqued to 81 inch pounds and we have all of the M8 bolts torqued to 15 foot pounds or 180 inch pounds. Now we can put our uh, water neck back on. This has a new o-ring that goes right here. So we're going to clean this off. The new o-ring came with the kit. by hand. Again, I don't want to cross thread anything. So here's another little M6 nut. Now let's look up the torque for these three bolts. So the torque for these two bolts and this nut 
is uh, seven foot pounds. Now the motor mount can go back on. Here I have the bolts for the motor mount. So I'm going to snug these in and then torque them. Okay, so we got them through. And uh, let's see what the correct torque is for these motor mount bolts. So these motor mount bolts should torque to 40 foot pounds. So these are all now at 40 foot pounds. All we have left now is the thermostat housing cover and that is cracked. That has a crack in it right here. So I'm not going to put it back on. I'm going to replace it from the cover or water neck from the original engine. I'm going to throw this one away. This one is no good. Of course we want to reinstall our water pump pulley. We line up the hose. Start the bolts. We just snug them lightly before parking them. The torque for these bolts is 15 foot pounds. To get 15 foot pounds on this pulley, I'm going to need to use this pulley holder. And there we go, all four bolts are torqued to 15 pounds. So we're good to go. And thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe.